Hey everyone, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions, and I'm going to show you how to add in a timer effect in your video, and we're going to be using the Movavi Video Editor Plus 2022 version. So, just before we begin, here's an example of what we'll be trying to add. So, in my previous video, a couple weeks back, where I uploaded a camera effect that anyone can use, I added a timer at the bottom left corner, so that is what I'll be teaching you to add today, all right? So to do this, simply go to the um, fourth um, circle over here, it says titles, click on that, and then in the search bar, search up timer. And then we're gonna drag the timer into the video, so to drag it into the timeline over here, right above your video. Now, obviously, yours is gonna be different. So since I think I find this way too small, what I'm gonna do is go here to the scale, and I'm going to drag this a bit to the right, and that should expand the um, the title that we just added, all right? So it's easier to get back to it if we need to. So before we configure this timer, let's go ahead and first make um, this a lot larger. I'm going to resize this. Obviously, for your own video, resize your timer to your heart's content. And now here, here's a whole bunch of cool options we can do. So... Before we change anything though, we have some symbols and what I want to tell you is that these symbols, the double H means hours, the triple, I'm sorry, the double M means minutes and the S means seconds and the triple Z means milliseconds, all right? I want to make sure you know this so that when you want to configure your timer, like that's over here, you can go to timer and we can change that so that you can choose which one you want to show and which one you want to hide. But let's get back to the text section first. Here you can even also change the font. So in my case, I'm gonna simply stick with the current font. I like that already, but if you want any other types of font, you can scroll up and just pick whatever you want, all right? So I think this is good enough for me, this font right here. So now let's go ahead and configure this. We don't actually have to do anything yet. Let's go ahead and start from the beginning and let's see what it does, all right? So you can see that the milliseconds is showing and we can see that the timer is counting. And now for me, that's way too fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this a bit to the, um, I'm gonna drag a bit to the right so it's a bit longer, right? So now let's start from the beginning again. And you can see that it would last longer than six seconds, all right? So that is an example of what your timer can do. So let's go ahead and configure this. So double click the um, title. And then over here, we can, let's see, we just hide the milliseconds. I think it looks better if the, the, the uh, I'm sorry, the minutes and the seconds show. So let's go in and do that. And there we go. So it's counting the seconds. Obviously, if it reaches 60, it'll add one minute, all right? So that's something we can do as well. Let's go in and also do a countdown. So let's click that box and let's start from the beginning and see what happens. So you can see that it is counting down from 20 seconds, all right? So it counts down as long as you make the um, timer longer, then this will also increase, all right? But you can see that it has the opposite effect if we do a countdown. So that's another cool thing you can do with the timer. And let's go ahead and configure this one more time. Let's go ahead and choose, um, let's see, the minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. Let's do that. So let's start from, the, from this part, all right? So now it's showing you only the seconds, the minutes, and the milliseconds, but it doesn't show you the hours. So let's go ahead and make this a, a bit longer so that it also shows you the minutes, all right? Uh, let's see, oh, we're, are we still in countdown? Yeah, so let's disable countdown, so it's simply gonna count up. And let's start from over here so that we can show you the, the minutes. So here we go, so this video has um is at the one minute and five second mark, so obviously it's showing you the one minute, one minute has passed, all right? So that is simply how you add in a timer in your Movavi video editor. So obviously if you want to configure it, you can obviously go ahead and change any of these, like these um over here. But for, for me, I think this is good enough, all right? So now you probably would want to hide the milliseconds so it looks better. I think that is all, that in my opinion is good enough. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. Um, if you have any extra questions, don't hesitate to comment down below and I'll get around to answering them. So once again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon.